Welcome to my channel, Living in Calgary, Alberta. My name is Dean Martin. I'm a local real estate agent here in Calgary. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the eight things that you need to know if you're making a move to Calgary in the near future. Um, these are things like how to find a doctor, um, how to get uh, vehicle insurance for your vehicle if you have a vehicle. And uh, if you have kids, how to find a school in Calgary. Uh, these are all very important things that uh, you'll want to know about before you move to Calgary. So uh, if you are uh, looking for any of these uh, answers, uh, please uh, continue to watch. And uh, again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe if you want to know anything about living in Calgary, Alberta. All right then, so let's get started right after this. So the first thing that I'm going to uh, talk about is uh, what you need to know about Calgary weather. Calgary weather has four distinct seasons. This is one of the reasons that I love Calgary. Um, uh, having just, uh, you know, the same type of weather all the time gets boring. So it's kind of nice to have those changes. So uh, let's start off with summer. Uh, summer daytime uh, highs, you can expect uh, 20 to 25 degrees. Um, we do get, uh, of course, uh, heat waves uh, that come through the city and we can get over 30 degrees, you know, 30 to 35 degrees and every once in a while we'll get a little bit higher than that. But typically it's very comfortable weather and, uh, uh, and then the other thing that is really nice about uh, the summer is daylight hours actually are very long. And so uh, we have uh, light actually up to 11 p.m. So if you enjoy evening sports or activities and you want to be outside, uh, it's really just nice to have that uh, extra light uh, for those extra hours. So one of the uh, negatives of uh, Calgary summers is our hailstorms. Uh, hailstorms, uh, for the most part, are quite harmless. Uh, you know, the, uh, like a bad one might uh, rip some... Uh, uh, leaves off uh, trees and maybe ruin some flower beds, uh, that kind of thing. But uh, we do get very severe ones and ones that cause a lot of property damage. Uh, the, the hailstones can get the size of uh, golf balls, which again will cause a lot of damage. And then even all the way up to baseball size, which again creates a lot of damage. So uh, now this doesn't happen all the time, but uh, every few years uh, it does uh, produce these uh, storms. And they don't last long in like half an hour it can uh, shred through a community and uh, do quite a bit of damage so uh, just, just keep that in mind that uh, again uh, this is something that uh, is a negative but at the same time it is covered by insurance and uh, you know and i've been living in calgary my whole life and uh, we've only had two incidences where uh, we've had actually damage to our vehicles uh, i've never had any damage to our house uh, yet so knock on wood but uh, again, uh, this is all covered by insurance. So next season is fall. Fall is a very nice time in Calgary. Uh, this is when, of course, we're gonna see the trees uh, changing colors. Uh, of course, you get all that nice, uh, you know, this, it just looks very pretty. And um, now that the weather, as far as temperature, uh, it drops a little bit. Uh, we're probably seeing between 10 and uh, 15 degrees. Uh, we will get uh, the odd day that's going to go higher up into the 20s, but uh, typically it's going to be a little bit cooler. And especially the evenings, uh, you're going to start to notice that the uh, evenings get a little cooler as well. So every once in a while, we'll get an early snowstorm in uh, September, uh, but it typically doesn't last very long. The snow will melt. And uh, then uh, again, in October, we can uh, start to expect uh, the odd snowstorm uh, and uh, really not until November do we hit winter. So when I say winter to a lot of people that has, have never been to Calgary, this is exactly what they're thinking. Uh, for some reason, uh, you know, many people that haven't lived here or not from here, they think winter is a, a constant snowstorm. But uh, really, uh, Calgary is very nice um, in the wintertime. Uh, our daytime temperature actually ranges from minus 5 and maybe it goes down to minus 15. Uh, we do get those cold snaps. Um, it can get to like minus 35 with the wind chill. And uh, yeah, those, those days are definitely very cold. But uh, they're nicely broken up with uh, what we call uh, Chinooks. And uh, 
A Chinook is a, a nice warm wind that comes over the mountains uh, down into the valley and uh, that goes into Calgary and it uh, really in a very short period of time like in a matter of hours uh, we can see a dramatic change in temperature and so we can go from like a minus 20 uh, all the way up to zero in like four hours like it's crazy so which makes it very unique for Calgary where you need to uh, when you go out in the morning and you're expecting a Chinook if the forecast is for a Chinook you definitely uh, want to have a change of clothing um, and then and it goes both ways if you're coming out of a Chinook and a north wind is coming in you know a cold front comes in it can go from you know plus five down to minus 15 very quickly so you want to make sure you have the the correct clothing so and you talk to a lot of Calgarians they say well if you don't like the weather uh, now just wait uh, a couple hours it's going to change <laughs> so uh, but uh, yeah winters uh, overall are quite uh, quite nice it is a long season because um, it can start as early as uh, October uh, and then it'll uh, go to uh, basically to uh, the end of April and you know that's where we're gonna see uh, the ch you know the big change back from uh, kind of snowy and, and brown to nice and green again so the biggest thing you need to know about winter is make sure that you have the correct clothing you're gonna have to go shopping uh, you want to have those uh, uh, winter boots, uh, winter coat, a winter hat, winter gloves. Um, you want to have layers where you can uh, again peel off if the weather changes and, uh, and if it changes to cold that you can put on layers. So uh, definitely want to uh, make sure you are prepared for winter but again it's uh, not as bad as a lot of people will talk about and it's not a constant snowstorm. Next is springtime in Calgary. Uh, springtime in Calgary is a very short season, uh, basically a, a month where we see a big change from uh, a very brown uh, uh, Calgary where all the landscape is very brown. Uh, there's no leaves and of course the grass is uh, still dead or you know it's not uh, not green <laughs> so uh, but uh, we get the rain and we get that nice warm weather then uh, all of a sudden formation uh, where again the May uh, the May flowers come out and uh, the May Day trees bloom uh, that kind of thing so uh, it's a really nice time because again after a long winter all of a sudden uh, the Calgary changes and everything looks alive again So the average temperature in uh, springtime is typically around the 15 degree uh, mark. It can actually get up over uh, 20 degrees, which it did uh, this year in 2023. So, uh, you know, we've had some uh, really uh, nice weather so far. And of course, we've had some rain and uh, but uh, uh, no snow so far, uh, which is kind of nice. So it can snow every once in a while. Uh, May long weekend, uh, of course, the people that go out camping get snowed on, <laughs> which is kind of fun. But, um, you know, it doesn't happen every year. So uh, this year we'll see. Um, we're not quite in, into May long weekend yet, but uh, it's coming up. Next up is what you need to know about finding the best neighborhood in Calgary to live in. So Calgary offers a, a wide variety of uh, types of properties. We have the, of course, the downtown apartments. Um, if you're looking for something that's a uh, you know, more of a walkable type of uh, living, all the way up to suburban living where, uh, you know, we get nice uh, family homes with, uh, you know, good communities, uh, with lots of good activities and uh, good amenities, stores, schools, that kind of thing. And then, uh, of course, we go right up into the luxury living. Uh, Calgary offers, uh, you know, some amazing uh, luxury homes and uh, country residential as well, which uh, uh, surrounds Calgary. So, uh, again, lots to choose from. Um, everything from that starter home right up to the multi-million dollar luxury home. Uh, so, finding the best uh, home for you has a lot to do with uh, finding out first is what is your budget. Knowing your budget is going to help you first uh, determine which part of the city that uh, you can uh, select from. Uh, so for instance, if you're looking for um, a detached home and your budget is only 400,000, uh, it's going to really limit what you can uh, find in Calgary in that price range. So, uh, so number one is find your price range. And then uh, after that, uh, you're going to identify things like uh, location to your work or to schools if you have kids. Uh, how many bedrooms do you need? Uh, do you need to have a garage or do you need a yard? 
um, or do you need to be close to public transportation? So all of these things will help you uh, formulate um, a, a plan on which areas to target. This is one of the things that I do with uh, my clients is uh, really help uh, uh, define which is the best communities uh, based on your budget and your, your family's lifestyle. So I did a, a video on this. Um, so uh, it's called Where to Live in Calgary. So if you want to um, uh, watch that video, I put a link uh, above here so you can click that and uh, watch that. And uh, this will really help you uh, define which is the best parts of Calgary for you and your family to live. So next up is what you need to know about buying a house in Calgary. Uh, Calgary right now is uh, going through a major uh, change in values. Uh, Calgary has been undervalued for uh, quite some time and uh, with uh, being a, one of the largest, actually the third largest uh, metro city in Canada, uh, compared to those other top two cities, which is uh, Toronto and Vancouver, uh, Calgary is much more undervalued than those cities. So what we're seeing right now is a lot of people, a lot of families uh, moving into Calgary. It has a lot to do with the um, uh, people that are able to work remotely. And uh, because they have that ability to work from anywhere in Canada, uh, a lot of people are choosing Calgary just because of the affordability factor. But hiring an agent is a huge benefit to you. Uh, you need to have somebody that really understands Calgary and really understands the market value here. And uh, so that's one of the things that I offer. So again, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, again, help you find the best home that matches uh, your budget and your family's needs. If you wanna see the current house prices in Calgary, I'll put a link up here uh, for my playlist. I'll also put it in the uh, description below. That way you can access the, the current month and uh, that way you can see the current prices. So next up is what you need to know about uh, vehicle insurance in Calgary. So if you're moving a vehicle from out of province into Alberta, um, there's three things that you need to do within 90 days. So the first one is exchange your driver's license uh, to an Alberta's driver's license. Uh, number two is that uh, you need to get your insurance updated uh, for your vehicle and then register your vehicle. Uh, what this is going to do is uh, make sure that uh, you don't get ticketed. If uh, you get caught and it's been you know, months after you've uh, moved here and uh, again you're showing that you, you live here, uh, you can get a ticket for that. So make sure that you do this within the first 90 days of uh, you being, uh, making a move into Calgary. All right, so next is what you need to know about Alberta Healthcare. Uh, Alberta Healthcare is a free basic healthcare coverage uh, in Alberta. And uh, again, this is going to cover your uh, basic doctor visits and uh, hospital stays. Um, so again, a lot of um, uh, employers actually have uh, packages over and above that. You'll obviously know that uh, based on the company that you're working with, uh, but uh, it is actually covered. You do want to apply right away because it uh, takes three months uh, to get. And so uh, while you're waiting for your new card, uh, you, you would actually use your previous um, health care program. And uh, because if you go and you don't have that, uh, you could get charged, okay? So uh, make sure that you apply right away and you want to do this again uh, right away and it takes three months. I'm going to put a link in the description below on, uh, on the website that you would use to apply for your uh, health care. But uh, again, it's very simple. Um, uh, just uh, you're going to have to show residency here and again, and also that you're staying for more than 12 months. So if you're making a move here, obviously the, that's going to be probably the situation. And uh, just make sure that you apply for you and your family. All right, so the next one is uh, what you need to know about finding a doctor in Calgary. So uh, this is a big question for a lot of families uh, making a move to Calgary and they want to uh, get a new family doctor. What we have in Calgary here is Primary Care Network and uh, you can call this or go online and this will help you uh, search for a doctor in your area. And so um, again, if you are looking for uh, help uh, that's not urgent, uh, you can call 811 and uh, actually talk to a professional healthcare person at that time. And uh, again, if you're looking for a doctor, uh, you can search uh, on this website and, uh, or give them a call and they'll help you locate a doctor in your area. Calgary has uh, five major hospitals as well as there's uh, walk-in clinics throughout the city. Uh, if you go to a walk-in clinic, uh, of course, you don't need an appointment. Uh, you just have to wait uh, your turn and uh, that way you can actually see a doctor. 
Now keep in mind, if you're going to do that, you need to have an Alberta health care card, and if you don't, uh, you may get charged for that visit. So once again, all of this information is going to be in the description below. Next up is what you need to know about child care in Calgary. The way it's set up is there's two categories of child care. There's licensed and unlicensed child care. So the licensed would be, uh, again, a facility or uh, home-based, but these are going to be more structured and there's going to be uh, you know, regular checkups. Uh, they have to follow certain guidelines. Um, and then there's the unlicensed, which is going to be like nannies, uh, private care, uh, family and friends, that kind of thing. Um, there's a, a good document here that kind of goes over that. I'm going to put this in the description below as well. Alberta also has a child care subsidy program that can offset some of the costs of your child care. So uh, definitely want to take a look at that for you if you uh, are in that situation where you are paying for child care. All right, so our last topic is what you need to know about finding a school in Calgary for your uh, children. Um, there are several different kinds of uh, school programs in Alberta. There's public schools, separate schools like the Catholic uh, school system, uh, francophone schools, charter schools, and homeschool. Uh, all of these schools are publicly funded and don't uh, charge any tuition fees. Uh, we also have uh, uh, several private schools here in Calgary. And of course, they do require you to pay a tuition. And uh, you can search those online as well. And uh, again, there's several to uh, choose from. To attend schools from grade one to 12 in Alberta, children and students must be Canadian citizens or permanent or temporary resident. To register your child in a school, uh, schools generally accept new students, but it's really best to uh, check uh, as some schools may not have room and you may be directed to an alternative uh, school. Once you fill that out, you uh, just submit it to the school. Um, you're also going to be asked for, of course, your child's name, uh, citizenship and uh, birth date. And if there are uh, some of these uh, listed uh, ways to uh, provide that uh, documentation for the school. And then that way your child is uh, now registered into the school that uh, you are trying to get them into. So there you have it. Eight things that uh, you need to know before you move to Calgary. Uh, obviously there's going to be more things that uh, you may want to know about uh, that's more specific to you and your family. Uh, I invite you to uh, comment below and ask that question. Uh, if you want to contact me directly, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can uh, call, text, uh, WhatsApp, uh, however you want to message me, email me. Um, you know, feel free to reach out. Uh, I help uh, families from all across Canada and different parts of the world. Uh, relocate to Calgary and I'd love to help you uh, make that transition a smooth one as well. Uh, so uh, love to hear from you and uh, once again thank you for watching Living in Calgary, Alberta. Take care.